What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be running through some WWE action figures that I want to see from Mattel in 2020. We're also going to get into something else that I want to discuss as far as wrestling figures are concerned for the year 2020. But everybody already knows 2019 was fantastic, right? 2019 had just the, it was the best year of wrestling action figures just in general. I think just the, the packs that we got and just all of the epic sets and the, the facial recognition, true effects technology that we got with all of our head scans. We got the double jointed knees for the women. You got the ultimate edition line. You got tons of interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands, cloth goods, jackets, and things of that nature. I mean, they absolutely brought it this year. We're getting two-pack elites continuing forward into this year. Already some play. I mean, we covered it a couple days ago with the figures we're going to be getting in 2020 that we already know about that they've already crushed. I mean, they're, they're going to absolutely kill it, and I'm sure that, that, that they're going to build upon that foundation they, they started in 2019 and continue that into 2020. But today, we are going to be getting into some figures that I want to see from Mattel regarding WWE Town that I want to see made in 2020 for figures and then there's going to be some other wrestling stuff that I want to get into and uh, I do have some other things so let's go ahead and get into it guys first off this is a guy that I've been wanting for like two and a half three years probably even four years now and it is Leo Rush now the reason I say um, a long time is because he was actually my favorite independent talent before he got signed by WWE I remember following him for a while in the independent scene and then I remember being super excited I remember his announcement on social media and everything with being, you know, signed to WWE. It was just a really big deal. This custom is made by BEW Animations, and he is an absolute beast. He actually made my version, or he made the head sculpt for my version. I did not buy one of these head sculpts. I, I should have. Hopefully, you know, he'll do another supply of those. Maybe they're not sold out just yet, but this is a fantastic custom of Leo Rush, and I'm really, really excited for Leo Rush because I remember, I think it was like a year ago, it seemed like he was going to be lost in the water, or like six, eight months ago, it seemed like he was going to be lost in the water. You know, he's with Bobby Lashley. He got put in on the back burner because we thought he was in trouble backstage. There was rumors of backstage heat on the guy. And then uh, he, he showed up in NXT, won the Cruiserweight Championship, and hopefully, like Jesus Christ, we need a Leo Rush, whether it be a basic, whether it be an elite. Just give me a Leo Rush figure, and uh, BEW and Mad Reaper are going to do us a good job of getting these head sculpts to everybody. And I did not pick up one just yet. I need to, but uh, I, that, that's another story from a, for another day. But Leo Rush is definitely a guy I want to see. I mean, it's just beautiful. I really want a Leo Rush. So Leo Rush is my first guy. Been waiting on it for a very, very long time. Please give it to me, Mattel. Next up, guys, we do have probably the top, well, she is. She's probably the top rising star in all of WWE right now. But we have Rhea Ripley. Now, this head sculpt was made by BEW. And he did have a, uh, he had this this head sculpt on a figure, but I don't have an image of that. I think it was like on his Instagram story, so I didn't screenshot that. But I did get this from his page. Looks really good. Looks really just like her. He sculpted this from scratch, and he painted it from scratch. He's an absolute ridiculous man. He did the Leo Rush one as well. It's absolutely ridiculous how talented this man is. But this Rhea Ripley is a figure that we really do need from Mattel. And thank God for BEW and Mad Reaper for making these people, uh, you know, while we wait for Mattel to make these figures. So that's really excellent. So if you don't want to wait like me, you know, you go ahead and grab these and stuff. Even though I didn't buy any of these just yet, uh, I was, you know, tied on Christmas and stuff like that. But right here, we have Rhea Ripley, another talent that we really, really need from Mattel. I think she's probably the top lady that I want right now. I don't think there's another lady or woman on the roster that uh, we really need besides Rhea Ripley and uh, one or two more that. That I, I may show up in this video, but here you see Rhea Ripley, another top talent from NXT that we definitely need on our roster, so Rhea Ripley is the next one. Another one is Dakota Kai. Now, Dakota Kai, this is another just from scratch sculpted head sculpt that I cannot believe BEW does. These are ridiculous, but Dakota Kai is another NXT women's talent that I would love to see. Next to Rhea Ripley, I mean, and Io Shirai, I think that Dakota Kai is definitely one of those that we need in our in our collections, and it builds upon it. So Mattel definitely needs to get in on that. I know I wanted to put Bianca Belair in this video. I wanted to put uh, who else? I wanted to put the Street Profits in this video, but we already know that we're getting basics of them very soon, like in Basic Series 107, 108, or 109. I can't remember the exact series, but we are getting those basics. I know for a fact. So 
I didn't want to put the street profits in here because we already know we're getting them and we know we're getting heavy machinery we're getting an updated our truth we're getting Lars Sullivan we're getting like we already know a lot of these people were getting them so I mean it's it's kind of difficult I guess Angel Garza would be another guy that you could say but uh, moving on guys this is the part where it's not about WWE but it is about AEW you can see these customs on the screen by BEW again huge shout out to BEW animations if you guys don't follow him on Instagram definitely go follow him he is responsible for a lot of the figures in this video so definitely go follow him he is an absolute beast but all these figures you see on the screen are AEW figures and I know Mattel can't make the AEW figures but I'm just hoping in 2020 we get some sort of announcement for some AEW figures and I don't know who could make it I guess Hasbro could make it um, I'm guessing because they don't really make I don't think they have any wrestling deals you know I know Mattel is specifically signed with WWE they can't make any other wrestling companies that's like part of their contract that WWE gets you know with Mattel it's like you know you can't make any other wrestling companies figures so Mattel can't make them but hopefully Hasbro or somebody uh, some other toy company can come in get with AEW and make Make us a you know a figure line similar to Mattel's elite action figures, and I'm sure that that will happen very soon. I'm 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 about positive that we'll get that in 2020. At least the announcement. We may not get any figures, but I just want to see the announcement. And you know the the start of the the process for that, and I think that is totally possible. But we will have to see in 2020. But that's probably my biggest one. I think behind Leo Rush, I want to see AEW get figures made in 2020, or at least just an announcement of a company coming in and saying hey we're gonna make these figures and hopefully they're not trash I hope they're you know just as good quality and they can compete or at least live up to the uh, the expectation that we get with Mattel and I think they could you know I think the Mattel's made such good strides uh, that uh, you know this other company could uh, learn from those and you know take in those same techniques and apply those and create figures for us regarding AEW and I think that you know whatever series we get with that I would hope we would get the Young Bucks Kenny Omega Cody and probably Jericho with that first wave, maybe MJF in that first wave, and John Moxley maybe as well. Maybe it just depends on how many they get, five or six in a wave. Uh, it would be very difficult, but I'm sure that, you know, if we get that announcement, that would be huge. I would love to see that. So that is another big thing I want to see. Another figure I want to see from Mattel is an Elite Keith Lee. You guys know I did make my custom, and we do have a Elite Keith Lee. We know we have a basic Keith Lee, but why not make an Elite? I know that Bill talks about making NXT talent into Elite figures all the time. So here it is. We have a Keith Lee that I really want from Mattel. So Keith Lee is definitely one of those guys. And uh, I know that people say my body mold's a little bit big. It probably is a little bit big. You know, it's not a perfect, but again, it's just a placeholder until Mattel gives us something. And hopefully Mattel knocks their Keith Lee out of the park. I'm sure they will. The head scan's already pretty damn perfect. I don't know how you could improve it anymore. And then uh, the body mold is what it is. You know, I just used what we had, and I tried to make the best of it. So Keith Lee's on the list for sure. Another guy that I want to see an elite from is an elite Matt Riddle. And I think we're going to get it in 2020. I think it will be released in 2020. I'm going to go ahead and say I think we will have a full-fledged Elite Matt Riddle in this year, 2020, because I think Bill already confirmed. Um, I think, you know, he's talked to some people. I've heard from some people that actually talked to, Mate uh, talked to Bill face-to-face, -face, and he said that we are going to be getting a Matt Riddle with uh, with the removable flip-flops or sandals, whatever you want to call them, and possibly either a hat or a jacket. I don't know. Don't quote me on the jacket, but I think we're getting the flip-flops for sure, and then I think the jacket or hat is a possibility. So Matt Riddle is another guy that I really, really want to see in elite form. Obviously, uh, we have our, our placeholders are great. You know, Keith Lee, Matt Riddle, Leo Rush, they're great placeholders for now, but we want to see them specifically, you know, hand-picked, hand-designed, hand-sculpted, printed, true effects applied, great attire, you know, not have to worry about paint chipping or decals rubbing or anything like that with our custom figures. So uh, that is somebody that I really want to see. And then I think another thing I want to see, I doubt it's, it happens in 2020. I guess it could maybe by the end of the year, but I'd like to see an updated John Morrison. Maybe they can take, you know, uh, I, I think he'll probably in-ring debut at the Royal Rumble. Maybe they can get that out by the end of the year would be an updated John Morrison. And then another guy I would like to see is probably an updated Sheamus. Uh, I really can't. I mean, Io Shirai would be another person. I know BEW sculpted a head sculpt for her. And uh, I think that's about it. I really can't think of any other 
people that I really want to make. I mean, we have a lot of people, guys. We have pretty much everyone made. I can't really think of anybody off the top of my head anymore, maybe besides Angel Garza or maybe Damian Priest or something like that. But I think for the most part, we have everybody in NXT. An updated Finn Balor would be pretty cool. Maybe like an NXT Finn Balor would be nice. I'm sure we'll get that eventually with the red X on the trunks. Uh, I don't know if we'll get that in 2020, but I'm sure that that is definitely in the, you know, in the works, but I think that's about it. I really cannot think of anything else. There's probably some other females that we could probably make, but I mean, we have Buddy Murphy, we have Ricochet, we have Andrade, we have, uh, I mean, I mean, who is there else to make? We have everybody, uh, maybe an updated Tyler Bate would be nice. A Walter, I didn't think about Walter. Walter would be a good figure to see, so Walter maybe, um, but for the I mean, we have Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, Adam Cole. We have the whole Undisputed Era. We have Velveteen Dream. We have everybody like that. So, I mean, they, they pretty much made everybody. I'm sure I'm missing some, if not a lot. But, uh, again, I think we're getting, we're already getting Street Profits. We're getting Bianca Belair. We're getting, uh, some updated head sculpts for Ricochet. Aleister Black, we're getting updated things of that. So, uh, we already know we're getting The Fiend. So, I mean, that's not going to be included. But I wanted to name off some figures that I want to see from Mattel in 2020. But I think that is about it for this video. I, tr I know it's not the longest list, but I tried my best. You know, I went through. And these I tried to narrow it down to the ones I really, really want. I didn't want to just start picking, like, random backstage talent and stuff like that that we haven't gotten just yet. But uh, if there's somebody I left out that you want to see from Mattel in 2020, guys, let me know down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Get in on all of the epic videos we posted this past week. Got a lot of good stuff on there for the end of 2019 and the decade and stuff. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.